Hey everyone, today I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of adding a real link camera to your home assistant setup and using the camera sensors to add to your smart home experience. So let's get started. In this video, I'm using a pair of the real link RLC 833A 4K cameras with night vision and a few extra useful features that can be used in home assistant, including a spotlight and person, pet or vehicle detection. After you have plugged in your camera to your network, the first thing you'll need to do is ensure that your camera is configured correctly for auto detection within Home Assistant. To do this, head over to your rear link camera's settings and enable the necessary options for auto detection. Log in with your username and password and your camera's live view should appear. Click on the device settings in the top right corner and if you haven't done this already, make sure you change your default password in the settings, user management, and change password button. Now let's set it up to be used with Home Assistant. Click on Network, then expand the Advanced Options, and click on the Setup button under Port Settings. You will need to enable the ports, and Home Assistant guidance notes that at least one of the HTTP or HTTPS ports is required to be enabled and some models also need RTMP port to work. I have enabled all ports for my device. Click save and then close. Once your camera is configured, it's time to add it to Home Assistant. It should now be able to be auto detected. Click on the notifications option in the menu and select the check it out link for new devices discovered. For each camera, Select the Configure button, type in your device's username and password, and submit. Select the area for the device. In my case, I am adding it to a new area for my front yard. Once done, click Finish. If you have other cameras, then do the same to configure, enter your password, select the area, and then click Finish. OK, now let's check out the cameras in the Device section. If I select the alley camera, I can control the camera's functions, including the floodlight, siren, and also the image's focus and zoom. The camera's image is now available through a stream, and there are other options, including the alerting sensitivity configuration, and these are available also through the camera's config portal. And let's add the basic sensors to the overview dashboard. Before we get into the cards, there are different streaming resolution options available. Depending on your preferences and network capacity, you can adjust the streaming resolution to optimize performance. By default, only the fluent or low resolution stream option is enabled. However, you can turn on other options such as the clear, which is a high resolution option. Click on clear and then the settings cog, enable the entity then click Update and OK. It will take a few seconds to enable, and then all the sensors will become unavailable and then back to available. You now should be able to see the clear image and the fluent image. You can see that the high resolution clear image is a lot cleaner, but it also requires a lot more bandwidth. The other options are snapshots for both clear and fluent. And this is, rather than a stream, a sequence of images that may be a better option for low latency and low frame rates. Again, you will need to enable the entities and wait until they are refreshed in Home Assistant. As you can see, they still provide a high res image for clear and a similar low res image for fluent. With your camera added, you can now create camera cards on your Home Assistant dashboard to monitor live feeds, access camera controls, and use its sensors and switches. Customize your camera card to display the information most relevant to you. From here, I can turn on the spotlight and then view the live feed to see that it turned on. Let's go back, turn it off, and let's see it switch off and night vision enabled.
This is also an easy place to check the history of the sensors and whether there was motion detected, including the built-in AI for detecting people, pets or vehicles. One of the most powerful features of a Home Assistant is automation. Let's create an automation using the sensors from your Rio Link camera. Go to Settings, Automations and Scenes, and then Create Automation. For this example, I want to turn on both camera lights when motion is detected by the camera. Click Motion Activated Light as a blueprint. Select the camera entity for the sensor. I'm selecting the alley motion. Then select the light. I'm picking the carport and alley lights with a wait time of 120 seconds after the last motion is detected. Click save, choose a name, and then save again. All right, let's trigger this automation through turning on one of the lights. The alley motion sensor shows detected and both lights turn on. Checking the history of the floodlights showed that it was triggered by the automation that was set up. And there you have it. Rear link cameras are very easy to integrate into your home assistant setup, adding another dimension of possibilities for your smart home. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.